what is up all my good look gamers xrp of x13 the incredibly good look gamer coming at you with another mod review today we have the gizmo mod which is all sorts of fun so let's hop right into it obviously a gizmo is like a tool that's like all gizmo and stuff i don't know Giz gizmo is a fun word to say though and whenever you think gizmo you think technologies we have the bombs these are the most fun so i figured i would do the bombs first because well bombs just are, are, are fun not in real life do not i i didn't say that bombs are fun in real life but bombs are fun in minecraft for sure so let's start off with the very first thing this is the gravity bomb which is going to be pretty sweet that is obviously how you make it you get the tnt the blaze powder and the iron ingots and basically the gravity bong is pretty basic um you just kind of set it down and it drops and blows up so let's test it out right here um it's gonna drop down to the ground and whoop ah gravity bomb gravity bomb gravity bomb gravity bomb boom 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 and it actually activates and detonates when it hits the ground which is really cool it doesn't like you know mid-air activate which sometimes it happens in uh in battle domes and whatnot okay next up we have the excavator bomb this is really cool and if you guys um if you guys saw oh, uh, oh oh these are gravity bombs no maybe i think these are excavator bombs let's see oh okay they are they say gravity bomb but they're excavator bombs okay so basically the excavator bomb is similar to the drill that you guys saw in my extreme weathers mod review if you guys have seen that basically you're going to set it down and it's going to drill into the ground and open up some area like you guys kind of just saw i'll do it right here so you can see it a little bit better oops here let's do it um let's do it maybe right here there we go there and there and you guys can see that it's just gonna oh that one didn't work but this one did down here as you can see it just kind of drops down and clears out a bunch of area oh hi oh and um yeah so that's a good way to clear out some area and also maybe uh get down to the bottom and also find some diamonds much much easier and that is obviously how you're going to make the gravity bomb you're going to need iron pickaxes so it's a bunch of weird combinations but they're very very cool um i really enjoy this mod and um yeah here we go with the time bomb fork bomb and the bomb diffuser so Here's how you make all of the all of these things. So we got the uh, bomb diffuser, which I'll show you why that comes in handy. We have the time bomb, which is you know why we're gonna need the diffuser because it's gonna get intense like James Bond status. And then we have finally the um, fork bomb, which is definitely one of the coolest bombs that there is. So let's go ahead and head over to down here, and let's show you what each one is. So first off, we have the timer bomb. Okay, so you set down the timer bomb, and as you can see, we've got a little red bar right there. Now, you could just break this bomb, um, and, and it'll end. You don't really need the actual bomb diffuser to do this. Now, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what it looks like to explode, and how long it takes, and I'm also going to just show you that you can just obviously break that bomb by just clicking it. Okay, so here we go. Let's, let's let that one go, and in the meantime, let's set up a uh a fork bomb over here so that maybe it won't blow up with uh with this one okay so we're, we got the countdown all right now now this is when you usually cut the red wire or the blue wire or you just cut both and blow up and die seems like everyone in every single i want to i want to see a movie where they actually get the cutting of the wire wrong and in the bomb actually explodes because it never happens in movies it's just unrealistic oh god the anxiety oh god here it goes Ch -ch -ch. boom boom is what i meant okay so as you can see that is the ring oh no oh no oh no not the fork bomb oh whoa whoa how are we gonna ever diffuse this oh i know how with the bomb diffuser oh god that didn't work okay you gotta right click with the bomb diffuser okay so the fork bomb as you can see is a pretty pretty sweet bomb so what it does okay that's the wrong one here's the fork bomb what the fork bomb basically does which is actually pretty awesome i don't know why anybody would want to would want to change anything is every time you click it left click or right click no matter what if you don't have your diffuser it is just going to expand or fork out 
which means that it's just going to get way, way bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, which uh, is, is pretty intense. The only way to defuse this bomb is by obviously going up to it and shifting and, uh, and pressing right click. So that's the only possible way to defuse these bombs. So if you um, have like a little friend and want to do a little mini troll, you could actually set one down and they'll probably walk up to it freak out thinking that they're going to break the TNT and stop the bomb, but in fact, every time they click it, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. So let's get this little explosion over with. I hope it doesn't blow up all the way to the other side of the map where I have everything else set up, but as you can see, oh yeah, let's, let's just see those frame drops. All right, as you can see, we just broke the game. <laughs> Um, so that's what the fork bomb does. It's pretty sweet and obviously I don't really know why you would need a bomb diffuser You should just be careful in general when dealing with bombs so that you don't really have to rely on a bomb diffuser But either way those are what each one of those does that is the time bomb the bomb diffuser and the fork bomb So let's move on to the next thing the inventory swappers, which um, which are actually really really cool so let's go ahead and uh, show you guys what the inventory dropper, how you make the inventory dropper on each end. That one goes up into your inventory. This drops off items, and this is the swapper. Okay, so obviously you can see they're very similar in um, how to make them. So what you want to do is go ahead, and I'll show you right now. I'll just grab these random items and put them in my hot bar. And now when I walk over to here, what's going to happen is I'm going to see that you can actually drop items in there. So I'm going to go over to this and I'm going to hold shift. Well, bah! Now all my items are in there. So it's a really quick way to clear your inventory. And um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. So now obviously the uh, inventory swapper up, it, uh, it has a full set of armor for me. So I feel like getting all armored and suited up like Iron Man. So I'm just going to hover over this and press shift and boom. I have all sorts of items, so it could be implemented pretty easily, which is awesome in that matter. Okay, here we go. Let's make sure. I'm, there we go. All diamonded up, already suited up and booted up and ready to go. All right, so let's go ahead and set down some of the stuff. One of my favorite parts about this mod review is that I get to play with all sorts of TNT after this. So this is the launcher. Um, it does what it pretty much says. It launches you. You just hover over it, and you get launched. And um, it's pretty sweet. Um, you can It's kind of like the uh, the portal type mod or, or the gravity mod. We've done a lot of reviews on things similar to this. But it is cool that they added it to this mod pack. So it is in the game. Okay, so next up we have the, um, the spy lab, which I don't have the items for. Okay, so basically what this... I do have the items for it. I thought I didn't. Um, so basically what this does is it actually infuses an item with some sort of certain abilities so for example say i have a build tool so my um diamond pickaxe and some torches okay now when you go mining obviously you have to use your build tool and then you have to set your torches and it's kind of a pain in the butt so um you have to keep switching back and forth so what you can do is you can actually put your build tool in here and then put a certain amount of torches on the top and now what that's going to do is that's going to slowly infuse this um, this super duper awesome build tool. And um, look, now we have a super build tool. So now it's going to place torches every time I right click, which is pretty freaking awesome. So that I can just kind of mine with my left click and then do this with my right click, mine with my left click, do that with my right click. So it makes mining a lot more uh, simple and it's a pretty sweet addition to the mod. I've never even thought about it. So... It's, um, it's pretty ingenious. It's definitely a mod that I would like to use. So if you guys would want to see it in Crazy Craft, make sure to, um, in GLG Craft, make sure to leave a like. And uh, maybe we'll add this one to the, to the mod list. Okay, so now we have the Temporal Dislocator, which basically um, speeds up time, which is, is crazy sounding. I know, insane. Um, so say you want to cook a bunch of chickens. Obviously, raw chickens take a while. Now, what you're going to want to do is right click and shift. Now, a lot of these are obviously um, are using the shift method um, that kind of toggles a lot of what happens in this mod uh, in the gizmo mod. So now I'm going to go up and I'm going to right click or right click. OK, there we go. 
and as you can see, or actually, you can't see it, but um, when I right click, it's going really, really fast. So yeah, as you can see, I just cooked all those chickens in a matter of like a split second, which is pretty sweet. Obviously, no one really has the patience, nor, well, maybe you guys do. I don't have the patience to wait around for it. So it's pretty sweet, and um, yeah, we are going to move on to the next thing. Obviously, these are going to be some booster pads, which are always fun. And uh, whizzing! As you can see, I'm super fast. Okay, hold on. Let's let's try to no 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 no. Okay, the one the one thing that's difficult about these is when you hit walls, it kind of like slows you down. So you want to try to be as straight as possible while doing this. Oh, and boom! Oh God! Whew, that was close. So that's pretty cool. A little a little nice factor if you want to get to your house quicker. If you end up building a bunch of those, then that would be pretty cool. So next up, we have some pretty obvious um, items here in, in, in the gizmo mod, the deforestator and the fire extinguisher. Now, what do you think the deforestator does? Obviously, judging just by what it's made out of, um, you're going to guess that it kind of just deforestates, if that is a word. I don't think it is, but it, they call it that. And we're going to right click and whoop, bam, it deforestates. There we go. Totally gone. It just ate that entire forest like nothing. It's pretty ridiculous, and it spreads like absolute hell. Um, I think this thing is going to completely lag out if uh, it doesn't deforest the whole thing without blowing my computer up. But that is one of the coolest things, I think, ever, because forests can get absolutely annoying. I don't know anyone who personally likes to just hang out in forest area. Um, oh, no, 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 don't catch there. No, that's going to spread. Oh, God, there goes that entire forest. Okay, you got to be I am. There's no way. Okay, I, I feel like a terrible person. I just probably killed a lot of birds and a lot of furry animals that live in the forest. Oh, no, it's not going to stop, is it? All right, well, we're going to turn around in a little bit and check on that. But before we do that, um, obviously, we have our fire extinguisher, which would put that out. But I kind of want to see it just totally eat this entire forest. So we'll let that happen, and um, this is how you make the fire extinguisher. It's pretty self-explanatory uh, what the fire extinguisher does. And then finally, we have the miner's lighter, which is going to be also very helpful. As you can see, um, what it's made out of blaze powder and whatnot, and the flint and steel, you know it's going to light something on fire. But what, Ryan? But what is it going to light on fire? That's still going, isn't it? It still is. Okay, so it's gonna. we're going to have a little bit of frame drops. Basically, it's going to light gravel on fire. Gravel is one of the most frustrating things as a miner to run into. So what we're going to do here is show you what it does. And also, it may or may not do something to the lava. So as you can see with a little bit of frame drops here, it's going to do that same animation that it did for the deforestator. And it's just going to eat away completely with... Uh, well, it's probably going to crash my entire freaking game. Yeah, it did. Come on. You can connect. There we go, there we go, and there you go. As you can see, it clears out all the lava, which is going to be very helpful if you are a miner. Well, not like a miner as in you're underage, but if you're a miner in the game, you just, when you mine. That's, that's, that's what I really meant. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the gizmo mod. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe if you're new, and obviously, go check out the gizmo, gizmo mod and let me know if you guys want, um, want this possibly added to Crazy Craft. Because it would add a little bit of insanity slash maybe some pranks that I could pull on Ricardo. But don't tell him. Don't tell Ricardo, okay? Don't. Just, just don't. All right, I want a couple more of these. All right, let's go down there. Check out what they do. Nothing. Fail!